So, how much does a mechanical engineer really make? Are you going to be a billionaire like Elon Musk and go on to create many successful companies? Maybe you will. The sky's the limit. Before we dive into today's content, I want to welcome you to the Steminist Network. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our new videos. Alright, so today we're going to talk about the salaries of mechanical engineers in the United States. What you might be surprised to find out is how much salaries vary based off location, even within the same company. Now if you saw the thumbnail, it's not clickbait. The average yearly salary for a mechanical engineer in Alaska is really $128,690. So thanks to Forbes and some research I've done, I was able to come up with these accurate salaries to share with all of you. If you want to read the article after this video for some light reading, I'll link it in the description below. While gathering information on mechanical engineering salaries, I found some pretty surprising data. Salaries can vary drastically by location due to cost of living, taxes, and a variety of other factors. For example, the average yearly salary for a mechanical engineer in California is $107,370 a year, but in Arkansas, it's $71,730. Depending on cost of living and where you live, this money can either be enough to cover everything you need, or it can have you living paycheck to paycheck. The average national salary for a mechanical engineer in the United States is $92,800, which comes in at almost double the average national salary of all other occupations that comes in at $51,960. Therefore, I believe this is a pretty rewarding career when it comes to salary and compensation. Here are the top 10 highest paid states for mechanical engineers. Honestly, I was surprised to see Alaska as number one on this list. And I was also surprised to see Delaware among the top 10, considering that their cost of living is relatively low compared to states such as California and Colorado. Now, on the other hand, one state that didn't surprise me as much is California, due to their high taxes and their high cost of living. I mean, a house in Los Angeles on average will cost you about $752,500, meaning that your $107,370 no longer seems like a lot of money or like it'll be enough to cover all your living expenses. Okay, now on the other side of the spectrum, here are the top 10 lowest paid states for mechanical engineers. Based off this list, we can see that most of the states have a really low cost of living, which is why the salaries are so low. The one that really surprised me for this list was Hawaii. They have a really low average salary for mechanical engineers, but a really high cost of living. I mean, a gallon of milk in Oahu can cost you like $8.99 and that same gallon of milk in Florida can cost you $3.99. Now, if you're curious to see how each state compares to each other in regards to mechanical engineering salaries, here is a list in alphabetical order with their salaries. So to be honest with you all, I would highly consider comparing average salary to the state's cost of living before packing up and moving. So a question for you, if you had to pick somewhere to move to based off the mechanical engineering salary, which state would it be? Drop it in the comments below. I hope this information was helpful and that it will serve as a guide for you if you're considering making a big move. If you found the content in this video valuable, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the Steminist Network for more STEM related content. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.